Today I wanted to talk a little bit about sickness and disease. I wanted to talk about sickness and disease because so many people are being afflicted with sickness and disease. So many people are being afflicted with sickness and disease. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because I hear people say, well, the Lord, you know, he'll bring me through it. You know, he, he basically they're like talking about like the Lord is okay with their sickness. The Lord is okay with their sickness. If, if the Lord, you know, want me to have this, then I'll be okay. He'll, he, no, no. See, that's the reason I want to talk about it because the Lord didn't put that sickness on you. The Lord did not put the sickness on you. And people have to understand that. The Lord did not put the sickness on you, but he heals you of the sickness and disease. The scriptures teach us that Jesus went about healing those that were oppressed of the devil. Those that were oppressed, uh, he healed their sicknesses. So that is an oppression from the devil. Now, we suffer, or many people suffer, because of generational things that are coming down through the bloodline. Yes, it's generational, but he still won't want to heal you from that. He doesn't want you to be afflicted with that thing. He wants you to defeat that infirmity and stop it from traveling down through your bloodline. For instance, if your bloodline is susceptible to diabetes, many people in that bloodline just diabetic, diabetic. You know, I, my mom and my daddy had diabetes. I know I'm going to get diabetes. So I know I'm going to get diabetes. You know, my kids, you know, it's just going down through the bloodline. You're already like cursing your bloodline even more when you should be saying, I curse diabetes at the root. I break the powers of generational curses and generational disease that's traveling through my bloodline. I stand in the gap and I remit the sins of my mothers and fathers that would even cause this to continue to go down through my bloodline. You have to, you have to war against that thing and bring that thing up from the root and cast it into the sea where it is defeated in Jesus' name. You are not to just lay down and just take the disease like, like it's a piece of candy. No, the Lord wants to heal you for by his stripes we are healed. For by Jesus' stripes we are healed. So we have to change the mindset of that thing because there are so many people. I remember, I remember back in 1990 something when I started like seeing like them building CVS's, pharmacies, Walgreens, they were building them almost on every block because back in the day, there wasn't a lot of, uh, um, pharmacies around but I started seeing them building it building pharmacies pharmacies and it just impressed upon me uh oh so I'm getting ready to change the course of things is getting ready to change because they're putting up all of these pharmacies they were putting up all of these pharmaceuticals all of this pharmacia they was like preparing they were they were already preparing near the end of 1990 well well, at least in the in the city that I'm in, that's when I began to see it in the city that I'm in. And I knew right then, I said, I said, change is, change is coming. I didn't go real deep into it, but I did recognize it. And now I see, I see why. I see why. Because the attack and the assault on people's health is like very, very, very rampant. Very rampant. It's coming from just years and years of not eating right. It's coming from years and years of even if you eat right, but you're still using like drugs. 
or you are like doing something else to your body or you are holding anger and you're just like pressurized and you're dealing with high blood pressure it may not you know high blood pressure and and anger and stuff they don't have nothing to do with you exercising they don't have nothing to do with you exercising that has to do with your mind condition with your heart condition as far as your spiritual heart condition that's what that has to do with so people are, are, are suffering and being afflicted with things that that Jesus wants to heal you from because he heals the heart physically and spiritually he heals the heart if you are having a spiritual heart condition and a spiritual heart condition then he needs to cleanse you he needs to to teach you on how to show more of the fruit of the spirit versus works of the flesh which is witchcraft if you get in line with his program and with his liberty the liberty that we have in Christ if you are a child of God if you have been um, drafted into the kingdom of light you have to be purged from all of that old stuff you cannot bring that stuff with you into the Lord's kingdom and think you're going to be all right because you will be given over to the tormentors especially when you're walking in unforgiveness you will be given over to the tormentors that's what the word of the Lord says and whatever that torment is for you in your life that's to be determined that's to be determined whatever that tormentor is that's to be determined I can't tell you what your torment is going to be but it will be torment and it will bring fear because fear brings torment so I just wanted to talk about being healed because we can all be healed in Jesus name and the Lord wants to heal us so we have to change the mindset change the mindset and know that even if you do come down with something or if something does start happening to your body physically you have the right to fight that thing you have the right to fight and to cast that thing out to uproot that thing and cast it out at times it doesn't happen immediately but you stay in the war you stay in the battle until you overcome until the Lord brings you to victory it may take years on the thing but you supposed to to per persevere and keep it keep it moving keep the heat up as long as the enemy wants to keep that heat going you fight him you fight him that's your right that's your liberty in Christ that is your liberty and the way that you fight is to just keep speaking what the word of the Lord has said about you and you just remain and stand in that stance of faith you stand in that stance of faith and do the things that are are meet for repentance like John the Baptist said you know to those um, um, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come you brood of vipers you know he knew who they was and he was just like you bring forth fruit meat for repentance that means if you want to be be redeemed in the Lord then you have to repent and you have to like show forth them fruit you have to show forth that fruit if you want to be healed from diabetes you have to like repent for your sins on what you have done to like even induce that and then you remit the sins of your mothers and your fathers and you break that curse and you begin to eat right you exercise you do what you need to do to bring forth fruit to show that to show that repentance to show that you are sorry and to show that you are on a new path you have to bring forth that fruit so yeah yeah, y'all, get the right knowledge and stuff on being healed because the Lord doesn't want you to be in a perpetual state of sickness and dis-ease. Come on, y'all. We can do it. We can do it. This is a new day. This is a new season. This world system is not going to help you into healing because they are only going to give you pharmacy, pharmacia. They're going to give you sorcery. They're going to give you the medicines and stuff to keep you comfortable. They are going to give you the medicines to keep you comfortable. But the Lord Jesus, who bore your, whose stripes, by his stripes, excuse me, you are healed. He's going to deliver you wholeheartedly. He's going to deliver you completely. And you're going to know that it was him that brought you out. 
So come on, y'all. We can do this thing. We can do this thing. And when I say we, it's because I've already been through it. And if things happen to me again, I'm going to fight the same way. And I'm going to get my deliverance because I'm not going to walk around being oppressed with sickness and disease. I'm not going to walk around being oppressed with sickness and dis-ease. And I'm not saying to stop your medicines. I'm not saying to stop going to your doctor. But you need to have a conversation with Dr. Jesus. And he will tell you what you need to do to start walking towards healing in him. And you have to believe it. You have to trust him. You have to trust him. He's not going to do anything to harm you. But he will give you direction and instruction for you to follow. Okay? So, yeah, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. And I hope everybody is doing well in this new year of 2022. And until we meet again, shalom.